President Cyril Ramaphosa says the passing of veteran activist Sally Motlana is a loss of a giant whose extended lifetime is a canvas of the history of our struggle. Motlana died yesterday at the age of 96. Now, a brief statement by the Motlana and Maonya families revealed that Motlana collapsed on Wednesday at her home in Dube, Soweto, and passed away on Saturday. She was instrumental in the South African Council of Churches' adoption of a public stand against apartheid and went on to serve as president of the Black Housewives League for 20 years. Under Mamutlana's leadership, the League undertook a number of development projects in education and food security in communities around Limpopo and Soweto. We are now joined by her son, Lebohang Mutlana, who joins us now. Thank you so much for your time. But first of all, condolences to you and the family. Now, a great loss uh, to the family. And how would you like the nation to remember the late Meseli Mutlana? Thank you very much for having me and uh, welcome to your viewers as well. We would appreciate remembrance of my mother, Selim Motlana, through her dedication to her community, the African community in South Africa, across the board, Limpopo, Soweto, uh, and other areas where she worked for the upliftment of women and for the upliftment of the African communities. Um, she was passionate about education and in order for her to advance that educational program, she had to work through communities and uplift them as much as she can. But her main focus was on girls and women, whereby she believed that the upliftment of the women of the family would then also advance the family as a whole. Uh, including the sons uh, and the fathers. Uh, but her focus was always on the upliftment and the education uh, of communities and especially the women within the communities. Lebo, you certainly shared your mother with the whole nation and she led during the struggle. Can you perhaps also share with us those moments and the role you also played to support her uh, during this time? The one thing that my mother was dedicated to was the eradication of apartheid. Um, she traveled the breadth of uh, South Africa. She traveled the most countries in the world, the United States, Canada, Australia, the United Kingdom, Europe, uh, advocating for the fall of apartheid. Uh, one of the things that she did through the church was also advocate for the disinvestment uh, out of South Africa as a means of bringing pressure on the apartheid regime to end its oppression of the African people. The apartheid government tried its level best to stop that campaign. They took away her passport, they detained her three times, uh, and we as a family stood by her. Uh, we were dispersed. My brother was in exile in Zimbabwe. I was in exile in Botswana. Um, my sister was imprisoned. My father was imprisoned and detained and banned. So as a family, uh, we tried to support what she was passionate about. And we tried to provide the, the little that we could in order to support her. But it's not about us. It's about her, her passion, her dedication, her up recognition of apartheid as an evil system that basically was dedicated to the oppression of the African women, men, and children, and their deprivation of their education and opportunities in their lives. Speak to us about how she would like the future generations to pick up the baton. The one thing about Maseli or my mother, was a dedication to the young. Um, she worked through the Trevor Huddleston Foundation for the young girls and women, uh, and I am certain that some of them are also listening here, that they should dedicate themselves to uplifting their communities within their community and within the means that they currently have. There is no magic wand that will allow somebody to say this is what you should do but we should see within ourselves whatever means we have what capacities we have to lend a hand to an old woman to lend a hand to a child to be able to go to school to walk an elderly across the street the little that we can all do to uplift our communities 
with what, what is essential. More importantly, if we all could dedicate ourselves to ensuring that young girls finish their school, we talk about um, pregnancies among the young that should not be happening in this society, um, the dropout rates of young girls out of school that should not be happening in this society. There is a disappointment uh, that she felt was the end of her life, that the government, our government, could do more, could do more in the sphere of education, could do more in the sphere of social upliftment, could do more in terms of social housing, could do more in educating all our people in order to have the future that she envisioned for this country. Now, Lebo, before we let you go, is there any information on the memorial or the funeral? There will be a memorial that will be held at her absolute best church in Orlando East uh, on Thursday. Uh, all are welcome. That will be a memorial service. And the funeral, we are hoping that we will have it on Monday um, in uh, uh, the Anglican Church in Four Way. Uh, and Bishop Mahoma has kindly agreed to preside over the final funeral. The memorial, however, will be in Orlando East, uh, where she attended church.